Far side. All right. Yeah. What's up, guys? Hey, everybody. All right, guys. Obviously, uh, we had a couple requests from from you guys today, so I thought it'd be easier just to bring Dr. Morero and, and Jared in here and do them all at once uh, with their schedules and stuff. So, um, the reason we're here is to, to uh, talk about the, the letter that was uh, put out yesterday about their uh, support for Irk Russell in the College Football Hall of Fame. You guys all know that. Mm -hmm. um, so, I don't. You don't want to do open stand, do you? Yeah. No. Well, we'll just mm -hmm. we'll just open, open up it. some questions. Uh, we do have Josh, Nathan on there. We have Nathan from Savannah Morning News on the phone listening, and then we got you guys. If you could just identify yourself before your first question, we <coughs> greatly appreciate mm -hmm. that. We'll open up the questions. Well, Jared, can you yeah. kind of give us a timeline of how this uh, yeah. came around? Yeah, a couple a couple weeks ago, um, you know, I got a call about a potential um, a pathway, a new pathway for for Coach Russell to be probably recognized in the College Football Hall of Fame, and so. Um, Doing some some strategic planning and and obviously uh, communication with Dr. Morero on down. Um, this is something obviously we're very passionate about. Our fan base is passionate about it. We're all passionate about it, and we feel like it's it's something that he's he's earned and deserved. So really, it was more of first you know making sure that from an alignment standpoint, because that's how we lead with our values and from an alignment is making sure that we put together a letter uh, on the front end to to formally request uh, you know his his obviously. Um, Record and accolades be considered for, for induction to the Hall of Fame. You know, from that, listen, I mean, he, he touched a lot of lives. Mm -hmm. And these, these are what the, the Hall of Fame, if you think about Hall of Fames in general, or to commensurate people and their impact on people. And um, you think about Coach Russell and his impact, not only at Georgia Southern, but in, in Athens and even in Auburn. Um, listen, there's a lot of people that, that, that love Coach Russell and love his family. And so part of this was trying to bring, bring the, the attention to it in the right way and make sure that he gets fully considered for induction. Yeah, like, we don't know if anybody's ever gotten in like this, yeah. or this is a common request. Yeah, I'm, I'm not the, probably the best expert on that. What I can tell you from just research and communication is, is currently right now the awards, uh, the honor court and, and, and the awards committee, they don't review uh, criteria of coaches that have, have coached for less than 10 years uh, full time. And so obviously we're trying to bring attention to that uh, current protocol and make sure that that, that gets revisited uh, in the proper context because we feel like Obviously, 10 years, um, obviously, it's a current current practice. I can't explain why it's 10 years. Is it an arbitrary number? I'm not real sure. But I, what I can say is that even eight years uh, of his impact here, Coach Russell's impact, and not only here, but 17 years mm -hmm. in Athens and before, um, I just don't feel like two years short is indicative of, of his impact, and, and he should be given full consideration. Mm -hmm. Dr. Marrero, I know you got some heavy hitters uh, kind of <coughs> already come out to yeah. try to help you with recruiting the governor. What's the next push? What's the next step? For you? Well, we're certainly thankful for the governor's support and his, his open letter of support. Um, you know, the, uh, the question might be, why, why now? Well, it's our 40th anniversary. Uh, we're going to be celebrating that all, all uh, season, certainly with our football season. But I think you have to reflect back and understand the impact on a community, on an institution, on a region. Uh, when Eric Russell came in uh, to start to restart the football program in 1981, what it built to uh, his three national championships all the way through the major growth of Georgia Southern really happened under the brand uh, and the ideas and the vision of Eric Russell of what this institution uh, is, could be, and will be. And at 26,000 plus students now uh, and its regional impact, that vision has been fulfilled. And, and as we look back on those, this 40 year anniversary of the restart of the football program and his legacy, uh, it just made sense. Let, let's give this a run. I want to thank Jared really was the catalyst for beginning the dialogue again. And then certainly to the governor and the governor's office for his support. It always is helpful to have the governor uh, wanting to support an initiative like this also in a recognition. What are you guys <coughs> Well, I mean, again, anything just to create groundswell. I mean, I think part of that is, you know, Coach Record, Coach Russell's, excuse me, his impact and records speak for themselves. And part of that is continuing to bring spotlight and attention to someone that we feel, again, is, is well deserved to be in the, the Hall of Fame. And so um, my hope and, and the intentions of obviously continuing to bring spotlight to it is for others to, 
to, to, to voice their, their, their support as well. Um, and listen, here's the great thing of being down here in, in States for the last two and a half years. It's not very, very hard to turn around and run into somebody that Coach Russell directly impacted. And, and that's, what's, that's, that's his lasting legacy. Um, he has three national championships. That's and taking a program in the modern football era and, and taking it from a startup and getting the football from across the street to, to where we are today. Is 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 it's a, in a lot of ways it's a fairy tale story. It's unbelievable, mm -hmm. but I would tell you that his lasting legacy is on, is on people, and, and so those that, that played under him, those that know him, um, those are the ones that, that ultimately I hope they continue to, to feel the same, uh, obviously same opportunity that we we see and that we can continue to take advantage of and, and try to make sure that he gets full consideration. So I would hope they would continue to, to seek out avenues to express their support as well. Yeah. Is there any kind of a formal <coughs> petition or anything? Um, not as much petition at this point. It's just continuing to, to reach out to, to the uh, National Football Foundation and, and expressing mm -hmm. their uh, their or their individuals' um, support for what we're trying to do. And mm -hmm. that's all we're trying to do is, again, bring attention to something we feel that should have happened a long time ago. And uh, we're excited to continue to, to, to push that envelope forward. Yeah. Do we know the timeline for when inductees? Um, Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not a, I'm not aware of that. Those those um, the criteria that, that that I am aware of, obviously with the the honors court and the awards committee, I'm not aware of what those um, standard operating procedures are from a voting standpoint. Um, our biggest thing is continuing to, to talk to those key stakeholders that do have a obviously a, a seat at the table and continue to, to educate them and remind them of Coach Russell's you know accomplishments and uh, whether that's this fall or this spring, uh, we you know. To, to us, it's, you know, it's, it's irrelevant because we feel like it should have obviously happened a, a long time ago. So we're going to continue mm -hmm. to make sure that's a, a, a point of emphasis to us. And this in 40 years of, of modern era mm -hmm. football this year is a great time to continue to lead that charge. So, Well, I'll just add, you know, the excitement for us and, and you know, as we were sitting here, uh, well, a little less than a year ago and in a head football coach search uh, for Eagle Nation, for our football team, uh, what was the – so clear to me as being a relatively new uh, president to Georgia Southern and part of the Eagle Nation was it didn't take two seconds in the first part of the phone call. First thing out of every candidate's mouth was, I know the legacy of Irk Russell. I know that history. I know what it meant to this institution, what it meant to college football. And that, that resonated in my head that this is a story that's beyond uh, our region. Uh, this permeates were you know in the top 150 programs in history, uh, as ESPN had said, and he was our head football coach that started it. It's time he should be in the College Football Hall of Fame. What would this mean for the university to have this kind of honor the first time here at George Southern? Well, I'll, I'll speak to what, what matters to me is I, I want uh, you know Jay and, and Rusty and the Russells, uh, the, the family, to just, just to, to have that opportunity to, to, to be at the Hall of Fame induction and, and recognize their dad. I mean, that's the first and foremost because it's been long overdue. Uh, secondly, listen, this, this is a rallying cry in a lot of ways. I mean, Coach Russell, uh, what he stood for and his identity um, is, is what we still obviously strive to, to, to be today. And so um, it would be jubilation, it would be excitement, um, in a lot of ways, you know, right and wrong. But um, all I can tell you is that, um, you know, when you, when you talk about Coach Russell, whether it be in the tailgates or in a in, in venue, I mean, people, this is a topic that's brought up all the time. And I wish I could, we, we both wish we could wave a wand and make it happen. But, but as you mentioned before, problems yield to effort, right? And so we're going to continue to, to put forth you know, maximum effort to make sure that we, we get the information in the right, in the right hands. But, but yeah, it would be excitement in Eagle Nation. And, and obviously, and I also I think there'd be a ton of excitement in Athens. There'd be excitement across the state. Because yeah. uh, again, I mean, his, his, his disciples, his, his, his former student athletes, those he touched, I mean, it's numerous. It's not just a state sport, it was across the state. Now, what, you talked about his family a little bit. What have those conversations been like? How are they feeling about this idea? <clears throat> well, listen, I mean, you know, listen, the Russells are, are a special family. And, you know, early on, you know, talking to Jane Rusty, one of the first things I did when I, when I was blessed to, to be afforded this opportunity was to make sure they understand that, one, my commitment to trying to carry on their dad's legacy just in my role, but, two, how much I respected their dad, not only from growing up here in the bottom in Athens, but now down here in Statesboro. So, We've had dialogue, um, and obviously develop a relationship over time. And I've been upfront with, with with Jay in particular uh, about this 
this idea about another push in commensuration with the 40th anniversary. They've been very supportive, and I've kept him updated and the family updated throughout the way. In fact, you know, we've been talking here recently about this family coming back to be recognized during a football game this season. So, you know, listen, this, this year coming up on the 40-year, again, anniversary of modern football, we have a lot of um, influential people that, that really got us started. And so we're really excited this year beyond, obviously, recognizing the Russells, recognizing people that had a had a hand in getting Georgia Southern football back on the map and getting it started and where we are today. So, uh, but they've been very supportive. Yeah, and Andy, on just further, this this is part of signifying uh, that we're on the rise in motion. The institution is is continuing to propel forward, having impact on the southeast region football. Uh, the York Russell legacy has been such an instrumental part of that. Uh, all you have to do is drive by Paulson Stadium and see the indoor practice facility coming out of the ground. And I'd love you all just to imagine where we can have a ceremony where that indoor practice facility is completed. Uh, we have the plaza done, and, and who knows, maybe that statue that we have ends up having a centerpiece right in that plaza, and we get to put a sign on it and member of the College Football Hall of Fame. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. Hey, but, hey, I, mean, you know I got, I got to drive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have a chance today. There, how's that? Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, we do have two members, uh, two former players in the college football yeah. Hall of Fame: Tracy yeah. and Aiden. Yeah, yeah, sure. Sorry, this will be the first coach. Be the first, first coach. coach. Yeah. yeah. We do have two players in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. We forget anything? Nathan, have anything, or is he good? Mm -hmm. All right, thank you all for coming today. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Next steps, that we appreciate y'all being here today because yeah. part of this is helping disseminate the message and helping continue to, to build support. So thank you all for being here. Yeah. Awesome. All right, everybody. Thank you. Good. Thank you all for being here. Thanks.